This world is not our own. It may look the same for the most part, but things are different here. Myth is history, not legend. Jason really did steal the Golden Fleece. It was sold as a Sotheby's auction last week for 4.8 million. The sun did disappear when Amaterasu hid in the cave, and Arthur pulled Caliburn from the stone. The gods and heroes walked and have walked this globe, but this means that the monsters from story are real too. The world is smaller now, all the corners mapped and plotted. While drakes still hoard wealth, they live on Wall Street rather than the uncharted places on maps with warnings of here be dragons. Monsters no longer hide in the woods, waiting for the unwary to stumble off the path. They no longer lay in wait beneath bridges exacting tolls. They probably live in the apartment next door. Is that girl on campus who always wears sunglasses no matter the weather a hipster or a gorgon? I wouldn't want to find out. Would you? Our story starts in America, where something is rotten in Washington, D.C. The sun rises slowly over the high-rises and skyscrapers as rosy-fingered dawn makes her way across the sky, creeping slowly across a city that has been awake for hours. The three of you have spent the last few days in a bit of a daze. Strange dreams have been haunting your nights, dreams of things you half remember and that you, you cannot believe are real, dreams of clouds and distant laughter, of a one-eyed man and purring cats. This morning as you wake, you feel something pulling you somewhere, somewhere you know you have not been before.